In this video, we can discuss about preservation of pharmaceutical products using antimicrobial agents or preservatives. So let's refresh some definition which we had already discussed. First one is microbial spoilage. It is defined as the deterioration of the pharmaceutical product by contaminating microorganism. And the preservation is defined as the process of inhibiting or minimizing the risk of microbial contamination, preferably during the storage and multi-dose applications of pharmaceutical products. Microbial contamination is the deterioration of microbial spoilage. Microbial spoilage is not the contamination of it. That is the storage of multiple dose application. That is the microbial spoilage of the process of preservation. Now coming to preservative. These are agents which will inhibit or minimize the risk of microbial contamination. Preferably during the storage and multiple dose of pharmaceutical application. अपो अदने वैंडी टी यूसे इन एजेंट्स का लान रिसर्वेटिव्स इन द्वारे इन्दर यूसली द प्रिसर्वेटिव विल नॉट बी यूज्ड और दिस इज अननेसेसरी इन केस ऑफ टैबलेट पाउडर्स एंड कैप्सूल बिकॉज़ ऑल दिस आर एडमिनिस्टर्ड थ्रू द ओरल रूट सो देर आर डिफरेंट एंजाइम्स व्हिच विल किल द डिफरेंट माइक्रोबियल स्पोइलेज इन आवर गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक्ट इट्सेल्फ सो वी डोंट हैव टू यूज प्रिसर्वेटिव इट इज अननेसेसरी इन केस ऑफ टैबलेट पाउडर्स एंड कैप्सूल व्हिच आर एडमिनिस्टर्ड थ्रू ओरल रूट नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट आर द आइडियल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एन प्रिसर्वेटिव Preservative should be free from the toxic and irritant effect at the concentration which we are using as preservative. It should be effective in preventing growth of microorganism. It's, it should be sufficiently soluble in water to achieve adequate concentration in aqueous phase of the system of two or more phases. Adequate stability to heat and prolonged storage with no chemical decomposition or volatilization during shelf life, chemical compatibility with all other formulation components and retain undissociated form at the pH of preparation, not adversely affected by the products, containers or closure, it should have an acceptable order and color and it should be cheap. So these are ideal properties. It is toxic, microorganism inhibit free it is soluble it is stable it is chemical compatible it is okay uh, normal it is like properties okay now what are the different types of preservative which can be used in uh, different pharmaceutical products it is mainly classified into cationic detergents alcohol phenolic compounds and organic acid there are some uh, some other classification also here i am just mentioning this classification as in types of preservative example for cationic detergents are benzalkonium chloride alkyl trimethyl ammonium chloride and these are mainly used in cosmetics and the solution which are used for the contact lenses and example for alcohol are chlorobutanol dichlorobenzene and benzyl alcohol Phenyl and phenoxyethanol, 2-bromo, 2-nitro, propane, 1,3-diol or propobol. Phenolic compounds example are chlorinated and isopropyl derivative of metacrazole. Organic acids like acetic acid, lactic acid and citric acid and propionic acid, benzoic acid and hydroxybenzoic acid, salicylic acid and salt, sorbitrate and salt, sulfur dioxide, sulfate and metabisulfate. These are some examples for preservative which are mainly used in the different pharmaceutical products. These are some examples of preservative in different formulation. For example, in tablets, methyl, parabens in uh, 0.1% weight by concentration, injectables, phenol, chrysol, benzyl alcohol, thiomerazole and methyl hydroxybenzoate. Then in hydro benzalkonium chloride and phenyl mercuric nitrate and chlorhexidine acetate and oral liquid mixture like propanolol, alcohol, methyl paraben, chloroform, benzalkonium chloride, chlorocrisol, 
then semi solid like uh, uh, semi solid uh, preparation like creams and oils chlorocrisol dichlorobenzyl alcohol cetyl methyl ammonium bromate these are some examples of preservative which are used in the different pharmaceutical formulations now let's see what are the different factors which will affect the efficacy of the preservative these are some factors that we have enlisted here interaction with the formulation of the components chemical structure and properties of preservative effect of the container and packages type and initial level of contamination effect of product ph temperature of storage presence of inactivating substance like dirty condition changes of concentration and efficiency of multi phase system now let's see one by one first one is interaction with the formulation components there are different components uh, may be there in formulation like hydrocolloids such as methyl cellulose and polyvinyl pyrrolidone alginate and tracagan these are uh, in natural origin so it may interact with the preservative and it will diminish the activity of preservatives and the different oils and in case of different emulsions the nature of oil oil in water ratio type and concentration of emulsion will influence the concentration of preservative needed to protect the system sometimes some therapeutic active ingredients like sulfonamide and kaolin which will form as a sus suspended solid so that the microorganism may absorb into uh, this type of suspended solid and it will reduce the preservative concentration by ad absorption sometimes this uh, preservative may get adsorbed on the suspended solids of sulfonylamide kaolin and magnesium trisilicate so it will diminish the effect of different uh, formulations now many many tablets additive cause problem in uh, tablet preservative due to their interaction with the added preservatives so uh, natural aitulla uh, substances aanengil polymer aanengil adu swabhavikamayittum adinde preservative inde effect korakkum adu pole thane emulsions inde case il aanengil nature of oil oil in water ratio type and concentration of emulsion will uh, influence the ratio and in case of suspended solids it will reduces the preservative concentration by adsorption now coming to second property uh, second factor that is the properties of preservative the distribution of preservative must be homogeneous and it should be more soluble in the bulk phase which is pre preferable in case of multiple phase system some preservatives such as chlorobutol and hydrolase may hydrolyze on storage if the ph is unfavorable and sometimes preservative may react with the substance leached from the container and loses antimicrobial activity so depending on the preservative it may leaches with the container or it may get hydrolyzed during the ph and uh, the preservative which are more soluble will give more effect so these are the uh, second factor properties of preservative now coming to next factor that is the effect of container usually formulation which are packed in the glass container can be expected to retain the preservative content if it is closed in tight preservative may penetrate through the plastic container and it may interact with the preservative and it may diminish the effect of preservative when if you are using plastic containers rubber also may react with the preservative and it will diminish the effect of preservatives and it will reduces the efficacy of preservative container closure may cause contamination by pathogens and the screw capped container and cork are the common sources of mold spores so uh, these are some uh, other factors which will uh, affect the efficacy of preservative especially plastic containers it may react with the plastic containers now next type next factor is type of microorganism there are different microorganism for example uh, clostridium species and bacillus anthracis which are uh, more containing pathogenic microorganism in the plant product so it may spoilage the uh, it may cause spoilage of pharmaceutical products then some organism or soil organism are uh, common in dust which may gain access to the preparation during the processing or packaging many product prepared animal sources may contain contaminate the pathogen uh, contaminated by the different pathogens like salmonella typhi 
spores of tetanus and gas gangrenes has been isolated from gelatin. So these are some uh, type of microorganism which will affect the efficacy. Uh, whenever the plant product or uh, natural product is used, it will cause the, uh, it will uh, produce some uh, harmful effect in the product. Now influence of pH. Adjustment of pH of the solution may affect the chemical stability and activity of preservative. For example, benzoic acid will uh, cause uh, its preservative action when it is in undissociated state. So it will require an acidic pH to uh, inert its antimicrobial action. So benzoic acid should be uh, formulated as in basic acidic pH. And the majority of preservative are less pH dependent, although cationic active coronary ammonium compound which are active in high pH or basic pH only. So these are two examples. Benzoic acid undissociated formula in the Kumba Matra Mana in the antimicrobial activity. That undissociated formula in the Kumba acidic pH. That is cationic active coronary ammonium compounds are basic pH. So these are the effect of uh, pH, influence of pH on the efficacy of preservative like uh, benzoic acid and cationic active quaternary ammonia compounds. So that is all about the definition and types and different factors which will affect the efficacy of preservative. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.